Hi, Dragon's Dogma doesn't do a lot of hand-holding, so it might take a few quests completed before you get the hang of things. The quest provisioner's plate, for example, just gives a vague notion as to where the quest NPC is located. We'll run through this quest so you have a better idea of where to go and what to do. After you crash land on the Griffin at the start, the NPC Justin will guide you to the Border Watch outpost, a small encampment. Along the way, you'll encounter two groups of goblins and the NPC will assist you in defeating them. If you find yourself low on health, open your inventory and consume an item that will heal you. You can always go into your inventory and use a healing item or potion in the midst of battle. Make sure to loot the dead goblin corpses, money and supplies that can be had here you'll need. There are also a number of lootable items along the path, so make sure to pick those up. Some of them will look like a pile of junk, and you can loot these up to three times, so make sure you don't just loot it once and move on or you'll be missing out. This path also has a lot of collectible materials that you can use for crafting as well as quests. For the quests that will do, you'll need either an apple or some grapes, some green wirish, a plant you'll find around the path, and three harb spud. And I'll show you where to find those. Once you arrive at the stronghold and you've created your pawn, make sure to enter the rift stone and hire two more pawns. A balanced group consists of a tank, a healer, some kind of damage dealer, so a fighter for a tank, an archer for damage and dealing with flying monsters, a mage for damage and healing, and a thief for damage will make for a well-balanced group. Once you've completed that, head over to the inn and take the innkeeper up on an offer of a free night's sleep. It's normally a thousand gold and it'll heal your entire party. If you pre-order the game, your pre-order bonus will be obtainable from the innkeep after you spend the night. Once you've spent that free night at the inn, initiate a conversation with the innkeep and when the menu appears, select Organize Storage. Then select Withdraw and select your appropriate item for your class from the storage. Then close the storage, open your item inventory and equip the new items. Then engage the innkeep once again and again and choose Organize Storage from the menu, then select Deposit and put your old items into storage to free up the weight. Once you've finished all of that, it's time to talk to Jeffrey and get the quest. As you exit the inn, you'll find him next to a table in front of you and to your right. Engage Jeffrey and accept the quest Provisioner's Plight. To your left is the open gate where you arrived at the outpost, so head over there and exit the outpost. Instead of heading up the path that we arrived on, head down the path to your left and head for the structure over here. Once there, you'll find three harzbud that we'll need for the quest along with a ripe harzbud. So grab that as well. The third harzbud is just outside over here. Now head back to the path that we took to get to the outpost originally and follow it up to the area where the river crosses the path. Before we continue, we need to craft a salubrious draft. Open your inventory and select green warish or an apple or grapes. If you don't have any, scout the area until you find some and harvest it. You should have gotten an apple off of one of the dead goblins, but grapes will do as well. Once selected, right mouse click and select Combine. The UI will show that it can combine green wireish with either the grapes or the apple. Confirm the combine and you'll get the option to create the salubrious draft. You should already have one in your inventory, so you should only need to create one. Once you have the two salubrious drafts, they look like a green flask in your inventory. We're ready to finish the quest. The NPC we need is up on this little rise over here on the other side of the river. Head over there and approach the NPC and he'll engage you in the quest dialogue. A quest delivery dialogue box will be presented. Click on the note in the inventory section of the UI so that it puts it into the upper portion of the UI and click on deliver. Once it's complete, engage the quest NPC again. Where to first? How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? 
A quest delivery UI will appear. Along the top are slots for you to fill by selecting the indicated items from your inventory. Click on the first draft slot at the top and then click on the draft from your inventory to populate it. Repeat this for each of the other items and once complete, click on deliver and then wrap up the quest dialog. Head back to the outpost and let Jeffrey know that you've completed the task and you'll collect your quest reward of 400 XP, 900 gold, and a dried fruit. You might get a level up message after you finish the quest. You should get two level up messages indicating that you have leveled up and your pawn has also leveled up. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it helps someone out there. Enjoy Dragon's Dogma 2, and if the video helped you, please click like, as that helps other folks find the video on YouTube. And until the next video, take care.